One of the tools that scientists and um, biologists will use when they're looking into whether or not someone has a genetic disorder is a karyotype. So this little video is going to go through these basics about karyotypes. What is a karyotype? What three things can a karyotype tell a biologist? What's the difference between an autosome and a sex chromosome? And what's the scientific name for Down syndrome? Here's a picture of a karyotype. It's a little bit blurry, but it's very, very good. Um, a karyotype is just a picture collage of all the chromosomes of an individual. So what they'll do is they'll take your DNA and um, they, they'll get the chromosomes to line up in their homologous pairs so that you can see, okay, this person has two copies of chromosome one, two copies of chromosome two, etc. The karyotype will line up autosomes and sex chromosomes for an individual. The autosomes will usually come first because they are labeled with a number, and then the sex chromosomes will come last because they're labeled with a letter. Autosomes are, I said they're regular chromosomes, so what they do is they control things like your hair color, your eye color, if you have allergies, if you're going to have freckles, your longevity, things like that. And sex chromosomes, they only really do one important thing for you, and that's to determine your gender. And we just identify those as either X or Y. So a healthy human um, has 46 total chromosomes. 44 of those are autosomes. And two of those are sex chromosomes. Now those autosomes and sex chromosomes really lead into this next part here. Karyotypes are really important to us because they tell us three different things. The first thing they can tell you is the gender of an individual. If you look at um, this particular karyotype, if an individual like this one has an X chromosome and a Y chromosome, then the individual is male. Um, if an individual has two X chromosomes, then the individual is female. The second thing a karyotype can tell you is the species of the individual, the species they belong to. Um, the total number of pairs of chromosomes here that you're looking at on the screen is 23. There's 22 autosome pairs and then there's one sex chromosome pair. So there's 23 pairs total. That tells you that we are looking at a karyotype for a human. And the last thing a karyotype can tell you is if the individual has a chromosome disorder. Now there should be one pair for each numbered chromosome and if there is then you have a healthy human. So here you can see where you've got that little tiny number one you've got two chromosomes. For chromosome two there are two there. For three you've got two. For four you've got two. For five you've got two, etc. So let's see how you do. Here's another karyotype and I want you to just think about this for a second. What does this karyotype tell us? Just take a look. Here are the answers. You should have figured out that this individual is male, that this individual is human, and that this individual has no chromosome disorders. Let's try another one of these. What does this karyotype tell, tell you?
This karyotype shows us that the individual's male. He's got the XY set of sex chromosomes. He is a human because he's got 23 total pairs, but this individual has a chromosome disorder because there are three copies of chromosome 21. Now when someone has three copies of a chromosome, we call that a trisomy. Tri is the prefix for three, and then somy just means um, copies of these chromosomes. So trisomy 21 is what you're looking at there, and it's actually most commonly known as Down syndrome. So take about 10 seconds and see if you can spot the trisomy in this karyotype. So we would, we would um, call this one trisomy 16 because there are three copies of chromosome 16. In the picture of this girl here, this is Megan, and she's had trisomy 16 since before she was born. She's actually pretty healthy. Now take a look at this one. What do you see here? This one's a little bit harder. Um, this individual, you should have noticed, has only one sex chromosome. So when someone only has one chromosome, we call it a monosomy. Mono is the prefix for one. This particular monosomy is called Turner syndrome. Um, the body only really needs one X chromosome to do most of life's functions. So individuals that get this, that get Turner syndrome, they're always girls, and they're generally healthy. They have some issues um, with their physical appearance, though. So let's try just a couple more of these karyotypes. So this karyotype should have showed you that this individual is male, that this individual is human, and that this individual has trisomy 15. Now there aren't any pictures of trisomy 15 because this particular trisomy is very fatal. This karyotype shows you a male with no chromosome disorders, but this male is not human. There are actually 24 chromosome pairs here. So wait for it. Wait for it. Ta-da! It's not even close to human. We've got a gorilla. Take a second. What can you figure out about this individual? So you should have seen we've got a female with no chromosome disorders and definitely not human. So what is it? When you've got 32 pairs of chromosomes, you're actually a horse. Here are your self-check questions that you saw at the beginning of this little video. So hopefully now you can tell me what a karyotype is, what three things a karyotype could tell a biologist, what's the difference between an autosome and sex chromosome, and what's the scientific name for Down syndrome.